The Shirk Center in Bloomington, the site for year number six now for what has become the premier high school indoor meet in the state. Boys 4x2 final exchange. Wabonzi's Dan Waldron hands to Tony Derns in third. Thornwood and Plainfield North 1-2. At the finish, it's the Thunderbirds 130.96. Derns and the Warriors finish fourth. To the shot put circle, Josh Freeman from Cary Grove spinning his way to an event best 62 3 and a quarter. Riley Kittridge from Wabonzi took fifth. High jump now in Lake Park's Kevin Spedger. The bar at 6 feet 10 inches. Get up, young fella. He's your winner. Pole vault now. The bar at 15 feet even. Rockford Jefferson's Joe Ward, a smooth operator. He took the crown. Back to the track in the 55, these boys can fly. Kendrick Foster from Peoria Richwoods, the quickest, 6.46, he's your winner. Four by 400 meter relay, Warriors in the running. Thornwood there again too. Second handoff, Wabonzi in front. Austin Amari to Kyle Kluver. Tommy Wilson taking it for Thornwood. Chris Wilson for Manuka. Wilson and the Indians in first at the final exchange. Kluver hands to John Burke in second. Kenneth Allen takes over for the Thunderbirds. At the finish, Allen puts Thornwood across first, Manuka across his second, but both schools DQ'd for lane violations. St. Charles East, your new winner, 323.98. Warriors second, 324.25. Kyle Schaefer, my teammate, he ran a really good leg. I got the handoff, came out a little bit fast, but uh, was able to get us into first, so I was happy with my leg. feel like I can definitely get faster going into outdoor season. We got a lot of work to do, but proud of all my teammates, and I feel like we did a good job. We were a little disappointed on how we ran, but after we got all the DQs out of the way, we, we felt like we did a pretty good run, and we can uh, definitely get better for the outdoor season, and everyone can definitely improve their PRs from today. I think we were expecting a lot of ourselves coming into the race, and we were really hoping to get first, but um, I think that we gave it a good run. A bunch of us can definitely drop some time. I think Jono was a little bit upset with his leg, but he's, he's doing really well this year, and we expect a lot from all of us. Local girls also in action. Nequa freshman Maya Neal leaping to a 17, seven and a half in the long jump. That's good for third. She also clocked a fourth place, 8.56 in the 55 meter hurdles. But this day belongs to warrior Morlakea Kennison. In the 200, the senior clocking a 23.91. That's a meet record, fifth in the US. Then in the 55, talk about an encore for the Warrior of Kennison. 6.76, an all-time Illinois record, number 10 all-time in the nation, and the current U.S. top time. A banner day, indeed. I don't think it's really set in yet. I think it'll set in like later tonight when I'm laying in bed and I realize that I just ran the fastest time ever. Can I hear from you, Coach? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's it. Hardest working kid I've ever seen in my life. She deserves everything. But it feels pretty good right now. I'm really glad with what I did today. I'm glad that I'm able to run. No injuries prevailing me right now, so that's always a good thing. 55 felt pretty good. It's all about the block start a lot of time, and I felt like I got out of the blocks pretty decently, pretty good. One of my better block starts. Just felt good. It felt like a smooth race throughout the entire thing. With the 200, I wasn't exactly sure how fast I was going because I had no one to gauge myself off of because lane six and four were empty. So I was just kind of running against myself and I guess running against myself is the best thing to do. She's in a class of her own and I just ran as hard as I could to keep up with them and I hope to be up there with them one day. It was honestly kind of frustrating this indoor season. I ran 692, I ran 691, I ran 692 again and I came out here and ran a 681. That was a huge relief to me. It was a great moment when I saw that time. 676 was even better. 